<clears throat> Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Banky, and for the activity this week, um, I found an article from Forbes, and it's called Antidepressants in the Great Lakes and Fish. So the article talks about um, a problem that has just been discovered, and that is um, that antidepressants are ending up in um, the brains and livers of fish. And this is causing problems because it is actually, believe it or not, making fish suicidal. Um, they will actually swim to the light in order to take their own life, which is very interesting. So the reason that this is happening is because when people take antidepressants, it ends up in their urine. So when um, that urine goes down the toilet into wastewater treatment plants, um, it is actually not inspected by these wastewater tr um, treatment plants, so it actually ends up in the water, where fish then absorb it into their systems, and it causes problems for them. So, the reason I chose this article is because um, I am actually, so I'm from Wisconsin, so it's near the Great Lakes, so it felt like a story that was like, um, like, close to me could possibly, like, affect me in some sort of way. So I thought that was really interesting. When I actually started reading the article, the most interesting information I found was actually the effects that, um, the antidepressants had on the fish, because I never would have thought that, like, an antidepressant would actually make the fish feel, like, suicidal. That just seems um, like, a little obscure to me, but still very interesting, and, um, this shows that humans relate to fish, because, like, obviously, this is a new discovery, and this is something that I, like, didn't know about, and many people probably don't know about, but it just shows how we, like, affect animals in ways that we might not even, like, know, and so, um, like, most people would have never thought that our urine would be causing fish to be suicidal, but um, that's just something that occurred, and it's just crazy, and we'll keep on finding new discoveries of like how our um, actions influence animals in positive and negative ways.